I just wanted to make a quick rundown uh, and make a little comparison from the brand new DW drums that I have uh, that I had for my 17th birthday yesterday. Thank you guys for congrat for uh, for wishing me well. Uh, by the way, I, I truly appreciate you all. And uh, after eight long years, after eight long and amazing years with this drum set, which is now in cases, you know, after doing a gig on Friday. Uh, I finally have my brand new DW Collector's uh, series drum set. Um, something that I never thought I would own, but now I but now I own, and it's truly a blessing. And uh, yeah, I just want to make a little little comparison. Now uh, let's compare let's compare the hoops. So uh, on the OCDP kit, which is a Venice series kit, we have standard triple flange hoops. We have standard tri triple flange hoops. And they are held with some standard uh, tension rods right here. And uh, they produce a very open and round tone on these drums, and uh, which is something that I like. Whereas the DWs, on the other hand, they they actually made their own triple flange hoop called the True called the True Hoop. And uh, this is sort of like a triple flange hoop, you would say. But uh, look at the comparison. The triple flange is sharper. Well, this is sort of like a little bit rounded. So the DW made the hoop like this while well, uh, making this a little bit more beefier. And this sounds great, and, the, and it's held by their uh, th their true true pitch hoop, uh, true pitch tension rods. I don't even know what I'm, I don't even know why I'm stuttering a lot, I apologize. These are held with true pitch tension rods, and they make the drums very easy to tune. Well, when I was tuning yesterday on my, on my birthday, I found that the, that the DWs were incredibly easy to tune, whereas these, on the other hand, they're, uh, they're they are sort of, like a challenge to tune up because you know they they're way you got to tune these like sort of they feel really tight on the lugs and every, and every time that you every time that i tune this with the t with, with the drum key it just had a lot of tension and, and i and i didn't like that but these they make my life a hell of a lot more easier and i, and I really like these i really like these uh tension rods and the true hoops um the badges on the OCDP Venice series kit, we have a triangular badge, and uh, it just says the logo, uh, the OCDP logo, and the the initials and the series the series uh, label. The DWs, on the other hand, it's a round badge. They have round badges on either side, so if you're going to be playing a two up one down, a two up one down kit, then you you would have this kit on your you would have this tom on your right side, but if you're going to be playing one up one down you'd have this on your left side. Um, and unlike, oh crap, I thought they had the serial number. Oh, here, here it is. Unlike the OCDP, unlike the OCDP drums, the, D, uh, the DWs, they have a serial number. They even have the serial number, you know, inside of the shell where they have the little stamp of, with John Good's signature and all, and all that other stuff. Um, this one, oh, and this drum, it's basically held with some small little uh, small little screws, and the shocker to that is that it's not even it's not even penetrating the shell. Look at this. This right here, around here, is the, is the spot where the badge is is sitting at. Here's the badge right here. It just went through the it just went halfway through the wood while uh, while the DWs. It's uh, Here's the uh, the other badge right here. Here's the badge, the main one. They're screwed through the shell. And uh, let's go over to the let's go over to the wood makeup. The wood on the OCDP kit is uh, is made out of basswood. Well, the DW Collector Series drums, uh, the D the DW Collector Series drums, they uh, they're made out of many different types of woods. You can get a maple kit, a birch kit, a, a rosewood kit, purple heart. The options are unlimited, and uh, and for me, I had the maple kit, pure maple, and out of Michigan. Uh, he sound really good, and you can sort of hear the uh, every time John Good uh, makes a uh, a drum set, he, uh, he does this. He just bangs on the, he taps the shell with his fist, and then he stamps the uh, the note that he heard on the shell. And as you see, these are VLT, all of the 10, the 12, the 16, and the 16 inch toms, they're all VLT shells. While the bass drum, on the other hand, it's a VLX. And uh, as the certificate of 
authenticity, the sticker of authenticity, as you can see. While these, on the other hand, they don't have anything inside. And, uh, but I, I still wasn't complaining about this. And I, was, I still wasn't complaining about the fact that they didn't include this, but uh, this thing took a beating. <laughs> you can see the bearing edge uh, not uh, holding up that well. Well, it, it, it was holding up, but this ply right here was uh, taking a freaking beating. And uh, speaking of the bearing edges, I'm, I think the DWs, they have like a 45 degree bearing edge and these ones, they have one too. But uh, this one is made out of a standard wrap. Well, this sort of wrap, they don't really call it a wrap. They, uh, DW calls this a finish, a finish ply. And uh, yeah, it's made out of a really strong glue when I was watching that uh, factory tour video of them. The, their fact, that factory tour video, they said that they, they use a certain type of glue. Well, this one was bubbling. You know, on my bass drum, it was bubbling. And it was a real, real pain in the ass. And uh, this is made out of maple. This is made out of basswood. Uh, the heads, the first heads that I had and that I had on these when I bought them back in 2013, they were Evans coated G14 heads. And then I upgraded to some Remo uh, coat of vintage jumpers, then settling on some clear ambassadors tops and bottoms, then settling on the on the coated emperors. And as you can see, I write the date to remind me of how long I've had these. And uh, yeah, so far these drums they they sound good with the with the coated emperors. Well, these is their clear coated hybrid uh, head made by Remo out of California, and. Uh, they sound really good. They sound really nice, beefy, warm, round, and punchy. And it's a dream to play on these. And uh, let's go over to the floor tom. So on the floor tom, their legs, they're really nice, beefy, sturdy legs. While well, my other ones, they, they did the stupid cross threading on this for extra grip. And honestly, it was, it was a real pain in the ass because uh, you, could hear, you can hear the annoying, <laughs> that kind of thing, and I didn't like it and and they would keep on wobbling i mean you could just go like this from side to side and it wasn't even it didn't even hold up that well on my on my ocdps well these on the other hand they're really they're really well built i'm not knocking my my old kit but uh these are really well built these don't have the stupid cross threading they have a memory lock right here these can get a little bit annoying but uh and this holds up well and uh, i'm really happy about that Let's go over to the suspension mounts. And uh, a lot of companies today, they make a lot of suspension mounts for their Toms. Pearl does them, Tama does them, DW does them, OCDP did them. And uh, and I and I bought these because of a lawn room and I didn't realize that they were actually made in China because, you know, Guitar Center bought them right after the recession. I thought these were made in California, but they were actually made in China and I was disappointed about that. But these, they, they were still good drums. Uh, and uh, as you can see, California, USA, Oxnard, California. Um, so the suspension mounts, the suspension mounts on the OCDP, they were just, they were just held by, uh, by the tension rods. And as you can see, after so much wear and tear, they made these freaking marks. The, the, I had a couple of rubber, rubber marks, one here, one here. And it was really tough to try to, to fix that and, and clean that up, but I, I, I failed at doing that. And this one took a beating, believe me. Um, so they're held, they are hold, they're, I can't even speak today, they're held by the tension rods. And uh, you can do, them. Um, this is sort of like a one dimensional mount. And what I mean by that, you can place them anywhere you want. And uh, these come with a, with a normal uh, thick L, L rod, L rod mount. Well, the DWs on the other hand, they're the, they're the exact same thing. But the thing I, I kind of don't like about the DWs is that they have them on this on you know on the right bottom side or whatever. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. But these ones on the other hand, just right there, they made it all and they made it all very nice and simple for you. And unlike the LCDPs, the suspension mount, you can they actually go around the lugs. So uh, if you want, if you're gonna, if you're gonna be, uh, let's say you're playing a one and two down, two up, uh, one down kit, and and uh, you don't, 
and you have this as your right time, your right 12 inch time. And then all of a sudden you want to play a one up, one down. You can uh, basically, or you know what, you don't, have, you, don't, you, you don't even have to do anything. You could just place this on this side. So you can place the tom, you know, from your right tom to your left tom because they both have badges and uh, you don't really have to do anything. But uh, yeah. But that's basically the comparison and uh i'm really happy happy about this change and uh hope you guys like this video and uh and uh, make sure to follow me on, my, on all my social media sites on instagram facebook and uh and youtube and youtube is also counts as a social media site but anyways i'm signing off uh, happy super bowl sunday and uh, thank you for watching this video thanks guys peace